Hello, good morning from a very cold and chilly wintry, nice Christmas scene actually, wintry uh, Oxfam scene in uh, England and uh, I thought I'd do my usual Christmas message, I say I thought, Sally thought I'd do the usual Christmas message, but good news is it's a lot shorter than before, <laughs> so I will get on with it, I'll try and not talk too quickly uh, so you can understand me. Um, at least if you want to, that's the point, isn't it? So get on with it, Sally says. Yes, I know I'm getting on with it. I'm getting on with it. Right, so as we approach the end of the year, I wanted to share a view of where we are, our achievements, and remind, uh, remind you how well we work together and how when we work well together, how we deliver uh, benefits into Oxfam. I can't, of course, list everything, and uh, for that, I make no apology, uh, but I will try and pick out a couple of highlights and, uh, and then round up as we go there. So, um, around the world, uh, crisis response is always a big issue. You've got your day job and then a big crisis comes along. I think time and time again, the IT department, the ICE department has always shown how it can respond. And Yemen, HECA, um, both of those areas you know, had significant issues this year. Tremendous response going above and beyond, uh, words that I hear a, a lot. Um, so, you know, keep the day job going and go and respond in those areas and uh, support uh, the guys in the field really delivering benefits into Oxfam. So well done to you guys out there. Um, in Cambodia, our first SMS office uh, went live. I mean, what could go wrong with that? It was uh, uh, Novib uh, as the managing affiliate to outsource the work to Oxfam America, who didn't have anybody on the ground, so asked Australia and GB to provide the staff and so on, and used a third party as well. Um, oh, and stuff got caught in customs. I mean, you know, uh, was it perfect? Absolutely not. Uh, did it show we could work together? Absolutely. And I think that's the key point. It absolutely showed that when people want to, they can work together to make it happen. Yes, we've learned a lot, but you know, it's shown leadership and it's reported back through the organisation as, you know, SD can do that. So we're still hearing um, good things out from that, still things to do, but also hearing things like model office now being talked about by other departments. So well done, you guys. That was difficult, but showing leadership and direction moving forward. In the UK, one of the big things we had out here was the trading division being brought in-house after having outsourced all their IT operation. 700 shops brought back in without any noise or murmurs or, or challenges, at least at the management level. I know there was issues, um, I know there were problems, but the guys dealt with it and they worked with the business to make it happen. A really good example of collaborating. IT director Andrew said to me, um, remarkably noise-free and uh, has come from outside expected a lot more challenges so again a really good example of collaboration making it work uh, and in the headlines to remind you for example that geek speak went live um, in uh, global that is in february with launch of it clinics in asia africa and lac different styles different ways of interacting with the business but all about getting closer working with the uh, the business at the sharp end um, very successful. The, obs the other thing that went live uh, the, in May was the Oxfam website on the WIF platform. Again, a lot of things happened there, but you know, very smooth, very effective. Pan-African uh, Conference took place in July. Another successful um, set of activities with a lot of collaboration going on there. The first Asia service desk as a model went live also in November. And I'm uh, also proud to say that um, my fellow CIO peers in the UK voted us uh, in the top 25, number 24, if you want to be accurate, um, in the uh, top CIOs of the year. So well done as a team. We can really pat ourselves on the back, being recognised internally and externally for that. So what the, what's the common thread here? The common thread is collaboration. And why is that important? Well, it's because this coming year, 2013, is going to be challenging. We have the Network Transformation Programme. We have the Windows 7 rollout. We have uh, Project Spirit, that is the single source of HR data coming through. A continuing security programme, Active Directory upgrade, and of course working together as one IT, more SMS offices going live, more network collaboration, file sharing, all that kind of activity. And of course some more business projects and programmes coming through. So a very busy year. It will need us to be really good at collaboration. We are very good at collaboration. We need to continue working together as a team to deliver these things and then we'll continue to be successful. So things aren't perfect. There will always be challenges and there will always be areas we can improve. But our department is deservedly building a reputation, both internally and externally. 
and we need to continue to do that. So remember, collaborate, support each other, and we will be successful. So with that, it's time to go. That's it. I'm freezing, sunny's freezing. Have a happy Christmas if you celebrate it. Otherwise, have a great break, and let's look forward to a really successful new year. Cheers.